Hello, my name is Valerie Callahan, and I'm the director of strings for the Drake at Public Schools. So I teach string students from fourth grade all the way up through the high school level. And we start um, string lessons in the fourth and fifth grade. We have orchestras for fifth graders in the middle school and at the high school. And we have after school orchestra for some groups. And we have uh, chamber music, which is string quartets and trios offered at the high school. We are making this video for you in cooperation with the Parker Memorial Library. The students and I really wanted to find a way to reach out to the community and to keep playing and keep performing. So the students were very disappointed when we weren't able to do our concerts at the end of the year. We had our winter concerts and they went really well and only one got snowed out. Uh, at the high school and we were able to reschedule it. It went really well, but we weren't able to do all of the fun things that we would normally have done in the spring. So the students were so excited to find a way to perform for people and to show what they were learning. When we found out that schools were closed for the rest of the school year, we decided to move towards solo music. When you hear an orchestra play, uh, the violins, violas, cellos, and basses all have a role to play, and often it's the violin that gets the melody. And the viola, cello, and bass are playing harmony parts that support the melody, and it sounds really amazing when they're all mixed together. But when you're at home practicing all the harmony parts, it doesn't sound quite as exciting as having the melody. So what we did was I sent the students out to find music that they wanted to learn, whether it be classical, popular, movie music, um, just anything that they really were excited to play. And I helped them to get the sheet music for it and they started practicing their own solo music. So what you're gonna hear in this video are some selections of music that people have been practicing at home on their own. So until we can get back together and make music the way that we're used to in our group, we can still make music at home. We've all still been practicing and taking a lot of joy in making music and we're so excited to offer this concert to the community as a way to just be in touch and have some fun making music together. So I'll be back for a quick intermission, but I hope you enjoy the first part of our concert. Thank you.
one's called Canon and D. Cheeks. Cause darling, I 
Hi, if you're just joining in, my name is Valerie Callahan and I'm the Director of Strings for the Draco Public Schools. This concert is in collaboration with the Parker Memorial Library and it will also be broadcast for Draco Access TV. I just want to go over a few of the fun events that we would have been having had schools not been shut down that the students were missing, but we'll be excited to do someday again soon. Um, we would have had our field trip to the Boston Symphony Orchestra for the Richardson Middle School students. That was scheduled for March 13th. So if you remember that March 13th was a Friday and that was the first day that we missed school. So we were disappointed to miss it and it was very short notice because things happened really quickly right around then. But um, we'll hopefully be back there soon. The fifth through eighth graders in March, they attend a string festival. It's hosted in Billerica, and Robin Mallory is one of the co-directors of it. And students from many towns gather and are placed into orchestras that are at their level. It's for grades five through eight, and it's a fun day. It involves like a fiddle bake-off. There's a professional performance. Uh, it's a really great time, so we're hoping that goes on again next year. We were ready to perform for the telethon. The telethon's a huge event for the town. I'm sure you know all about the telethon, but it was going to be my first telethon, and we were ready to go at the middle school and high school, but we will be participating in whatever form the telethon takes, hopefully, when they can reschedule it. And the string program, we were able to do our Christmas tree collection in January. This is a huge fundraiser for the string program through the Boosters. So the Boosters is a parent volunteer organization for the fine arts program. So it's the fine arts boosters. There's also an athletic boosters organization. Um, our fine arts boosters are wonderful. And they did a lot of work to plan the Christmas tree collection. So that's always the first week of January, something you can keep in mind. The string students volunteer. We get other volunteers with trucks and we drive around the town and we have a planned out route and we collect all the Christmas trees in the town. It's a fun day for everyone. Uh, the other big event that we didn't hold, but we hope to in the future is our Italian feast. Robin Mallory started this many years back at a country club or a function facility in town. And it's a fun night of, of Italian food and music where the students serenade uh, the community members and their family members and seniors, I think often have a special surprise in there for the parents. So we're doing all we can to think about the senior students this year and hopefully things will still be going on as scheduled so there's lots of good backup plans ready. So the second half of this recital there's more performances and it's going to end with a senior student Aaliyah playing a piece that if you know the words they're really meaningful for the time that we're in right now and she did a great job playing it. So we were just really grateful to have this opportunity to share our music with you and we hope that we can all be together again soon and playing a real live concert and I know we'll all appreciate live music so much more when we can hear it in person again. Thank you so much. Goodbye. <laughs>